and we're getting that countdown. First ever, four to seven block. Three, two, one. Pills. It's gonna be silver today. We're gonna we're gonna celebrate. Uh, three, two, one, silver. Three, two, yes. one, silver. All right, so just twenty viruses uh, here on level four. We'll keep the jokes to ourselves uh, in chat, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, good board for both players. Uh, you're going to see a lot more scattering of viruses here, uh, Savage, but uh, good board for both players. Uh, really good double opportunities. Yeah, and I think we've already seen a good sweet tea from uh, from Larva. Now, you did mention that the boards are pretty spread out. That does mean that these there's a chance for more viruses to be up high, which means more drop time. But so far, these two are navigating it pretty well. They are navigating it fantastically, and... Uh, RNG uh, can be a little rough for you here, but uh, with the right pills, uh, you can really make some plays happen. We're seeing Larva already, uh, both players down to seven. Larva trying to go for that tuck, didn't quite get it uh, as we're at the minute mark here. It's uh, Tetra with a slight lead. Mm -hmm. Tetra's board is looking really tidy right now. You know, she can take care of this lower right-hand corner with some yellows, and then if she gets a red-yellow, she's good to go. Um, anything else would cause some drop time, which she is going to elect to take, but now she just needs one yellow. Uh, Larva did a great job of cleaning up the bottom of her board. It looked pretty messy, um, so she just needs a red-blue to be out quick. And she's going to get it out at a minute 19, uh, but Tetra already going to work here. Uh, 24 viruses here on level 5, uh, and we see uh, 18 to go here as uh, Larva with that nice cross, uh, or that nice horizontal play up top. A little riskier to do on these earlier levels, but uh, worth it if you've got the RNG. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that, you know, all of the players here are going to have these horizontal strats. They've all been practicing, um, and they're these are players that have just missed out on the gold bracket by just a little bit, so we're seeing we're going to see some good stuff. Yeah, don't don't let the fact that these players are in silver fool you. They are all still very capable players of the game, uh, and and not to be trifled with. Uh, if if you're an average player, chances are they might beat you. So uh, don't don't let the uh, silver ranking fool you here. Uh, it looks like Larva trying to get into the lead here, uh, setting up for uh, possibly a drop play here. Uh, going to get a little bit of help with that drop time. Down to six viruses. Both players down to six savage. Really tidy boards for both players as well. Yeah, we do have an oops all blues situation for both of them, though. And you see a ton of blue in the center of Larva's board that hasn't been used. So I hope that doesn't necessarily come back to hurt her. But luckily, she still has the time because Tetra is also working on two blues. But Larva's going to be out first here at a 246. So she's halfway through, gets through that level five, clear. Two levels to go for Larva. Uh, one virus to go for Tetra. She's out at 255, so not far behind here as we get to level six. A little bit more familiar territory for our uh, top 16 players. Yeah, exactly. We normally play uh, level six through nine on our first block, and so that starts this. So they've seen this a lot before. Um, now, uh, Larva's been starting with her board, and the board is a little bit tricky because if you notice that right-hand side, it is locked up tight. It's not, we don't, not used to seeing that in this level, so she's going to have to chop a lot about that down, and she takes it with a nice combo so far. Beautiful drop cross there by Larva. Uh, Tetra, 20 viruses to go, making a bit of a misplay on top of that blue. Uh, going to want to get that off the board. Going to suffer a little bit of drop time, but uh, better to have that garbage cascade down than be at the top of your board. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it looks like she's probably going to be ignoring that for now and, and working towards the bottom of her board, so we'll see how that goes. Um, meanwhile, Larva is chopping down that stuff on the right, and this double red is going to be really fortuitous, probably in that center there. Nicely done. I think she's going to go for those blues in the bottom horizontally. And uh, a really nice end game here. That couple of double reds is going to take off three viruses very quickly. A uh, little locked up with that yellow virus in uh, column number seven. Uh, but you see Larva setting up for that vertical play uh, on the red with that horizontal clear. Nicely done. Good good awareness. It's always good to uh, have those combos set up. And Larva out at four minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, and now quite a bit ahead of Tetra here as we get into the final level for Larva. 
Right. And and Tetra's playing fine. You know, she's playing a fine game. Now, the thing is that in her, her bottom might be the, the pain point here, the bottom of her board, um, because if she drops those blues horizontally, that yellow is going to fall and block off the bottom blue. So we'll see how that goes. Or, or, uh, Tetra just looking to get uh, one last clear here. I like the decision to uh, drop the garbage, make the horizontal out at 457. Uh, right now, though, it is a dozen viruses between Tetra and Larva, and Larva with a nice cross clear uh, already down to 18 viruses here just uh, north of the five-minute mark. Yeah, Larva's play has been very clean and sophisticated, and uh, one of those things is that she's been practicing a lot. I'll plug the weekly checkup. You can look at for it on our Discord, and we play every Thursday night, and uh, Larva's been slogging it out with the rest of us, and um, clearly it's paying off. Those weekly checkups, uh, very, very helpful. Uh, while they are seated, uh, definitely uh, gives everybody an even play field, and uh, give, everybody's very friendly. Uh, just want to give everybody a shout out to or give our community a shout out as well um, and we'll have we'll talk more about our community here in a little bit uh, but first uh, Larva is down to her final three viruses and Tetra is getting close your 20 viruses to go uh, it'll be two to go for Larva and just one yellow left and Larva will be setting a world record time of six minutes and seven seconds <laughs> GG's Larva, GG's. So in the um in the gold racket, level six through nine, uh we love to see sub seven as a good time and sub uh, sub six is an amazing time and it, it looks like for this level block um, we're going to be looking sub 630 for sure just based on larva's good performance so far. I I think I think that is an achievable time uh but we're going to see uh, what uh, Tetra can do here. Tetra uh, just got handcuffed by uh, level uh, six a little bit, and we saw uh, saw the uh, slowdown happen there, but a nice little lightning bolt, and Tetra's going to finish this one up. And we're just... Episode yeah, setting up that yellow on the bottom horizontally good. If she gets a red-yellow, that'll be really great. Of course, not quite giving it to her, but... Um, she can use this and one more red and she'll be done. Out at 7, Out at 12. A... Yeah, nice. But your uh, first crown going to Larva. Ooh. So uh, one to nothing here in this wild card match. Uh, we're going to let our players reset here. Ready from Larva. Larva set and ready to go. They're ready from Tetra. All right. Well, then I better get off my uh, keister and start this match, huh? All righty, yes. folks. That's not the right person. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for our countdown. Three, two, one, silver. And let's see how our players do here. 20 viruses out of this board. Uh, good boards for both players, nothing too clustered. Uh, very manageable board. Uh, Tetra's got a, might be suffering just a little bit more drop time than Larva, uh, but good, easy boards for both players here to start. Yeah, uh, Larva had this um, nice cluster in the center that was close together, um, whereas Tetra had a bunch of stuff high up. But she's really making it work here so far. And Larva's just blazing through this four. 30 seconds in, already down to eight viruses. Wow. That is fantastic. Now, I think that the uh, high amount of blue on Larva's board might hurt her at the moment. Um, but then you notice that Tetra has the same situation with red. Uh, so <laughs> this double red's going to help squeeze it in the middle, uh, but uh, we'll see. I like that bracket clear as well from Tetra. That uh, reduces a lot of drop time because 
Uh, you don't want anything dropping down, we're going to see here. And this kind of hurts, too, for Tetra. She uh, hurts her setup uh, for that horizontal yellow. Uh, so she's going to have to rebuild from there. Uh, good yellow or red blue uh, for Tetra down to three. But Larva is already on five in about a minute and change. Yeah, Tetra did keep hurting her her horizontal possibility with uh, all of her other plans with that yellow in the bottom. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But she's got a nice diverse top line. And uh, but Larva's already uh, got a nice lead, four virus lead, and uh, I think that's seems like it's bigger in these levels. And uh, 19 viruses to go here. Tetra catching up here. Uh, the Tetra's really uh, hurting for blue viruses right now. Uh, only four left on her board. Uh, it's the opposite situation here for Larva, who has a lot of blue viruses on her board. Uh, is going to go ahead and take that horizontal. Uh, it's going to add some garbage, but it is a manageable situation, and that double yellow is definitely going to help. Mm -hmm. And uh, meanwhile, Tetra's been uh, doing pretty well with this board. Uh, she had a double red before, which I, I would have liked to see in column two uh, to drop that yellow down. Um, but now she's setting up some strategic drop time to uh, the bottom viruses with these reds on top. And if I, I'm Tetra, uh, I, I've set up that platform with the blue uh, in column three. I might have just gone for an overhang on the red in two and dropped down a couple. I would have been fine eating that drop time. Uh, it would have also cleared the yellow out. Mm -hmm. And she's she's going to get it now, though. Meanwhile, Larva with a really nice combo. She just needs a blue and a yellow, and she's going to get it. So she's going to be out at a 254. And uh, all Tetra needs is a couple of reds, and she'll be out. And Tetra's going to be out at 301, so very close here going into level 6. And a bit of a misplay by Larva over in uh, column number two, columns 2 and 1. Uh, looks like she's remedied it a little bit, but we'll have to address that uh, bit of garbage in column 1. Mm -hmm. And in the on the side of her board, you know, she had this um, horizontal set of yellows and, and horizontal blues, and, and I think she didn't quite know what to prioritize. So it's... RNG's handing her a little bit of a tough situation. She wasn't getting the pills to make that really great setup. Yeah, and panicking about prioritization is something that every player does at every skill level, so there's absolutely no shame in that. Uh, and uh, it's a double red surge. This is huge for Larva. She's going to clean up a lot of garbage and get some red off her board. Uh, it's going to go for uh, the zero drop clear. Nicely done. Down to 17. It is by uh, the virus count, and it looks like even by time, this is a dead heat right now. Definitely, yeah. They were good at starting their timers uh, right, right at the same time. No lag. Um, now uh, Tetra's got this interesting situation. The right is really rock locked up. You know, she's she's got one of her two yellows there, um, but this blue yellow should help. It looks like she's planning on doing those reds horizontally. And that double um, red would have been very very efficient, uh, but it came a little too late. So uh, Tetra's forced to work. Uh, a little bit more diligently on that, but she's going to get uh, a really nice, clear, great combination of RNG to get some uh, blues off the board. Really nicely done by Tetra. Five viruses to go for both players. Great combo drop there by Tetra as well, setting up the yellow. Yeah, exactly. So all she needs are a couple of reds, and likewise, Larva's in the same situation. This red-blue is going to be great for her, and uh, so she's going to make a combo and just needs one more red. It's going to take that drop time, but it's a good move. So she's out at about five minutes for level six. So it's about a 10-second difference here as we get into the final level, uh, and Tetra's already rocking this, uh, getting some really good RNG uh, down to 28 viruses. Larva trying to storm back. We're going to see, ooh, tried to go for the little bit of a fancy tuck. It's not anything bad there. Those reds are both playable. So uh, I think she was maybe trying to go for that uh, horizontal uh, red in row three. Didn't quite get it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, so Larva had already set up a drop horizontal. Um, and it looks like she's toying with a horizontal up with those reds again. Uh, yeah, she's definitely making that plan. But um, notice she's going to have some garbage on columns one and two to contend with. Looks like she's trying to prioritize that. And a great vision by Tetra uh, using that piece underneath uh, to uh, clear the reds and 
Uh, now has a really good board. Uh, 16 viruses to go. Now 15 for Tetra. 18 for Larva. Larva's got a little bit of a board health situation, Savage, but it is an oops all reds for Tetra at the moment. Yeah, this is uh, this is a, a cluster right now. But you know, look, clearing these reds, and she's got this really amazing red blitz to work with. That's a really nice tuck in between those reds in the center. Um, and so yeah, she can really start clearing this out. Uh, JP, for the people at home, when you say board health, what do you mean? I mean, uh, what I mean is uh, how clean the board looks, uh, how how easy it is to access all of your viruses. Uh, what you're really looking for is garbage on the top line, which is what we call uh, the top layer of pills or viruses. Uh, right now, as you'd see, uh, very clean for uh, Tetra as uh, she's going to take this home with a 651. Mm -hmm. So, uh, game two. But uh, trying to maintain a clear board is always good, uh, just so you have any sort of plans ready. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean a miss drops a bad play. Well, you'll see it from a, you'll see it from any level of player. It may look like uh, it's a misplay, but they could be setting up for something a little bit bigger. Hey, thanks for and, sharing. And Larva is gonna get out of here at gonna take some drop time. Hopefully, sub seven thirty. And yes, a seven twenty six for Larva. But uh, it is game number two to Tetra. We're going to a decider to start the silver championship, folks. Yes, this is what we want to see. And it's great. Tetra set, he, uh, set a hot time for this level bracket. So congratulations, Jeez, Tetra. Tetra. <laughs> All right, we have a ready from Larva. And uh, coming up next is the winner of this match versus John Nashforth, uh, our top seed here in the silver bracket. So uh, normally we give players a little bit of rest, but we are endeavoring to get through this whole bracket in one day. So uh, we have a ready from Tetra. Get down from there, Daisy. Hey. Ah, the cats of Dr. Barrio. We have readies from both players. And uh, we're gonna do our countdown. Three, two, one, silver. And uh, interestingly different boards for both players. Tetra's got a huge cluster right at the top middle, which is always a bit of a bummer. It really limits what you can access on the lower parts of your board. We'll see what Tetra decides to do here. Larva has a pretty wide open board. Uh, has access to most of her viruses from the get-go. So we'll see what she decides to do here. Not a lot of blue access, though, on her top line. Yeah, also, Larva has the situation in columns two and three that is really rough, you know, with those yellows and the blue locked up right underneath it. You know, she tucked the yellow reds to get something going later, um, but it's going to be a little bit slow to get that operating. Meanwhile, uh, Tetra's down to eight, and... Uh, Nice prioritization with that horizontal reds. So she's got some yellow to work with up top, but she's almost out of red. Not sure why she's not using that. Uh, there you go. And it also looks like uh, Tetra here is going to take the bit of that small garbage hit uh, on that yellow in column number five. That's not big a deal. You could still work from that underneath, and I think that might be the game plan here. Uh, also, uh, Tetra looking to set up something uh, horizontal to drop some yellow down. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, mi about a minute and a half now for both of our players. And uh, Tetra in a bit of a pickle, but at a minute 31, Larva's out first here. Uh, there, This is the last competitive game for one of these players in 2021. Uh, we're going to see who it is at a minute 40. It is Tetra out, and Tetra's got a really interesting board. A lot of double opportunities. Could have had a d another double yellow horizontally. Look, maybe she'll see it, and she does. Right. And when you see those two on top of each other, it's hard to tell exactly what to do because you could wait until they're cleared out vertically, but I think it was a good move. Um, meanwhile, uh, Larva's got a... Uh, she's stacking some garbage on the right-hand side, and I think this is a good move because uh, red-yellow is going to keep coming, and we don't quite have any use for it yet 
and Larva with a touch of a misplay, I think, uh, over in column six. Uh, we'll see what she does with that. She does clear out the garbage in seven and eight, opens that back up, and looks like she's going to aim to go horizontally along the bottom. I like that call. Mm -hmm. I think the the pain point I'm a little bit worried about is um, is that uh, column three for her um, with the red, blue, red. Um, but meanwhile, Tetra's got all red, blue, but luckily the RNG is cooperating and she's just able to chop these things down. So she's made a, a remarkable recovery here because I think she was not prioritizing the most fantastically at the end of last level, and I'm glad to see that she's making it back. And uh, with this red going to be out at three minutes, two seconds, so halfway through, shooting for that six-minute time is Tetra doing a great job now. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, and she's got she's off to a good lead already um and she's got an opportunity for a great sweet tea here takes it sweet tea is that is that your toasty is that what that is from <laughs> mortal Kombat? <laughs> uh one virus to go here for larva and larva is going to be out at 335 a bit behind the eight ball here uh, but still very much doable. It's a 10 virus difference between our players. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Petra had just a bit of a red blitz, so the game sometimes gives you uh, red, red pills over again and other combinations, uh, and it always follows with a red-yellow, which she didn't really have a place for, so now she's able to clear out that garbage in columns 7 and 8. And Larva's got a lot of doubles here, so she's really starting to attack level 6. Uh, already within seven of Tetra at the moment and uh, setting up nicely here for what could be uh, an even bigger run here on six. Love that triple combo. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tetra's going to be using those yellows horizontally and uh, nice zero drop clear with the uh, with the blues there. So she's got horizontal option for that yellow that she's setting up. And so she just needs a couple, and she'll be out. And it looks like uh, Larva's gotten a bit hung up on her uh, planning, but able to uh, chisel some stuff out here. Uh, Tetra's out in about a 444. Uh, meanwhile, Larva down to her last seven viruses, but into the final level first is Tetra. Yeah, she, she's doing a great job. Um, luckily, RNG is cooperating with her as well. Um, now she's got... Uh, oh. Not quite sure what's going on with the planning there at the top. Not sure if that red yellow in uh, column three is where she wanted to put it. So she's uh, she's going to be wrestling with that for just a little bit. That might give Larva the opportunity here. Larva's going to be out at a 519. And it is a seven virus difference between our players. If I'm Tetra, I'm really thinking about clearing that red in column three underneath if I can. Yeah, definitely. I think if she stacks this double yellow on top of the one in column three, if she goes for some horizontal, then she'll have the opportunity to do that. But uh, currently, it looks like Larva's board health is much better, although drop some garbage in column eight, which is always a tough column to have garbage in. Seems like she's having some misdrops right now. It looks like there's hesitation on Larva's side, so not sure what's going on at this moment. Both players struggling here. Uh, Tetra down to 15, Larva down to 27 here as we cross the six-minute mark. And Tetra appears to have surrendered. Uh, Not quite Tetra sure what happened. Tetra topped out here. Uh, we'll continue to play here. Uh, and Larva has also... Topped. Gotta keep out. continuing. We need a definite winner. Yeah, we need we need someone to win gotta, this. Gotta play. Gotta keep going. Uh. Or well, you know, I guess, in the... I guess we're calling it a surrender then. All right. Well, Larva takes it, and we'll be advancing to the next round. 